What's up guys, Mike back uh, from Canadian Cards, shooting another video. Did um, <clears throat> take one day to go to the Toronto Sports Expo last weekend. And um, I don't know when this is going to come out, but uh, it was the weekend of the 11th through the 14th. Met up with some YouTubers, uh, Frank from Frank's Cards and Collectible. Joe, Dr. Exclusive, uh, Carlos, because I'm Carlos, saw sports card investor, had to do the photo op, because I just thought that was funny that he was in Canada. I asked him if he, I told him, I said, I didn't know you invested in hockey, and he said, yeah, Connor McDavid. So, he's got the right, uh, he's got the right names. <clears throat> and uh, who else did I see? Sanderson to Orr, Eric, he, he's a frequent guest on Carlos' uh, Saturday Night Live shows, Saturday Night Live is, is live streams, um, big Bruins guy, funny guy, has a man crush on Marcel Dion now, because Marcel Dion was set up at the show as a, as a vendor, so um, he used to have a sports card store in Niagara Falls attached to his family restaurant. But due to COVID, that shut down. So, um, yeah, so he does the card shows. And um, I think Eric uh, picked up a hat and had some conversations with him. And Marcel Dion agreed to sign the hat. So it's pretty cool, actually, seeing a NHL Hall of Famer there as a as a vendor just set up um but anyways i was only there one day i planned to go back a second but in all honesty uh my football team lost on on saturday the 13th so our season's over and i've just been like incredibly busy getting things reorganized and inventoried and uh, our staff has to clean everything and send some helmets out for recertification so we've been extremely busy um uh yeah so on said day i only made uh, i made five purchases but one i cannot show because it's it's a big piece for the uh man cave um the hockey hall of fame was set up and they were selling off different artifacts and display pieces so um, yeah, one day I'll do a, once I get my, my card room reorganized, I want to paint the walls and patch a couple holes and stuff like that. Um, just get it more organized and I'll, uh, I'll show it, uh, on a video. Anyways, going to turn the camera around. Enough babbling. Only got, uh, four pickups, but I do have, um, one pickup that I did at a local show, about a month ago uh, sometime in October and there was a story that goes along with it and I was with Joe Dr. Exclusive and uh, uh, I'll, I'll get to that when I show the card anyway stick around okay guys so first things first let's um like I said I only picked up four items from the expo um person had a stack of these sports caster postcards and um, uh, I guess his wife was helping him with them and I don't know I, I kind of like these they're pretty cool and uh, this one is of Mr. Ken Dryden lawyer in the nets and I believe some of these are like printed in Italy and some in Sweden this one's Italian and it had a price tag of eight bucks on it. I didn't even argue. I just picked it up. So I thought that was very cool. Uh, the second piece came in um, this little felt bag. And when you open it up, it's old style, but it's uh, very clean. It's one of these thick ice cubes. And it's an autograph of boom boom jeffrey on so i'll probably use something like this in uh, one of the um legend series that i do because i have not done mr jeffrey on and 
here's the price tag that was on there. Uh, I dropped it. Hang on us. 60 bucks. Can't go wrong. Nice, clean autograph. This is from the Parkies, the reprint set. I think they were called The Missing Link. I was with Carlos and Joe and Frank at the time of purchase, and the guy had quite a few of them. Um, on the back, they're hand numbered out of 956. This is 562. Um, dear Parky Collector. Blah, 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 blah. But just um, very clean um, autograph. So I thought that was a great pickup. Put that there. And then when we were going out, uh, Frank was helping me carry uh, the sign because I was with Kane uh, because of my hip and I'm still waiting for that surgery. So I'm hoping that happens soon. And uh, he showed me a bin where guy had some cheap slabs. And I picked up this Frank Malzone from the Boston Red Sox, 1959, and a PSA 6. And five bucks. Now, that's five bucks Canadian, guys. So that's, that's four bucks US. So I'm going to buy that all day long for four bucks us and then he had another one because i didn't he was about to give me the five and i said just hang on a second let me see if there's anything else and this is from 1961 it's his second year card pumpsy green in a psa 6 and the significance of pumpsy green was in 1959 or 60 i can't I, I'm not sure the exact date, but he was the first African-American to sign with the Boston Red Sox. So a little bit of history. I think they were one of the last teams to sign a black baseball player. Um, but that's the significance of Pumpsy Green. Now I'm just going to move these aside because this next piece is pretty awesome. And I'll tell a story about it. I think I've showed off um, some of the 1970 Dad's Cookie Cards. It was the first set I ever collected um, when I was five years old. Yes, I'm that old. And um, I was at a local show with Joe, Dr. Exclusive, here in Hamilton, Ontario. And one guy I always deals with had this in his case. Jacques Plante. It's... Uh, Beckett JSA Authentic. Now, you just don't come across Jacques Plante autographs anymore. And um, worked out a deal because Joe actually um, picked up a Ken Dryden postcard that was signed. And this guy's pretty reputable. I've, I've dealt with him for several years. I always go see him. He always gives me a good deal. Um, you know, appreciates my business, so he works with me. Now, the problem was, Joe wanted to look around a little more, and I said, no problem, I'm gonna just take a load off in the lounge out in the front lobby of this hall. And I started punching in the authenticity number, and something was screwing up, because under JSA, that number that ends in seven, eight, yeah, that number comes up as a Kevin Nash Diesel signed Funko Pop. And then, of course, the Beckett number wasn't working. So, automatically, the red flags go up. Uh, I'm in a panic. Um, but the guy, I go back to the guy. He assures me it's legit. He said, we'll meet up. We'll talk to Beckett and JSA at the expo. They're both going to be there. Went there. Um, before I even met up with him, I went straight to the Beckett table uh it was pretty quiet i spoke to a guy told him the situation he admitted he said you know our website's been really off lately so he punched it in uh had some wi-fi hook up and came back legit so it's the legit thing and uh the guy bought it off of carl's cards um you know when i originally told him the issue he was in a panic 
he felt embarrassed. He's like, take some of my stuff as collateral. And I said, listen, I see you around all the time. Don't worry about it. We'll just wait. And he said, if it comes back as phony, I'll refund you your money. So I'm glad it did not. There's Jacques Plante's auto. So happy to add that to the collection. Um, I say that tongue in cheek because I don't know. I got such a good deal, it might be worth it to flip it. And I'm just not sure what I want to do. So it may go up. Uh, who knows? But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you're all doing well. Take care.